Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics with Asmi. Today in this video we are going to see how to remove top and rows in Power BI. When we import a data into Power BI from Excel, most of the time we don't get a data started directly from the columns. Generally we get some extra rows which are not needed like these two rows with some headers. Here row containing ABC company and the region waste. These two rows are not needed. In any reporting tool, these two rows doesn't make any sense. So we need to remove these rows. That is what we are going to see in this video. Before moving ahead, I just want to see if you are ready to transform your data skills and don't want to miss our valuable content, please subscribe to our channel for mind blowing analytics content every week. Now let's jump into a Power BI quickly. Here I have imported a data set here. Here you can see all the columns. Okay, so to import a data, what you have to do, you have to go here to a get data. Here you will get a many options to import your data. Our file was Excel file, so I have clicked this and imported this data. Now you can see your data here in the data view as well. Okay, now we have to do some transformation before analyzing the data. So for that, we have to go to a Power Query editor. So you have to click here this icon, okay, use Power Query Editor to connect, click this drop down and just click transform data. This is the Power Query interface. Power Query Editor is used for data cleaning and data transformation. So Power Query uh, Editor is divided into four parts. First part is this part where all the tabs are present. You Here you will get all data cleaning and data transformation options. Second part is this query part. Here you can see your query. Here our query is data set. Third part is these applied steps. So whatever transformation you will do here or data cleaning steps you are doing, you will see here in the applied steps. And fourth part is this data part. Here you can see your data. Okay, now here uh, in our uh, query, you can see that these ABC company and region based, these two lines are not needed. We have to remove this. So to remove the extra rows here, what you have to do, you have to select the first row cell here like this and go to home tab here. In home tab, you will get the option remove rows. Just click this drop down here. You will get many options like remove top rows, bottom rows, alternate rows, duplicates, blank rows, remove rows. Okay, here I am going to choose remove top rows as we want to remove this first row which is region based. Okay, so let's, let's click this remove top rows. Now you will get this dialog box. Here you have to specify how many rows you have to remove from the top. So we have to remove just one row which is a region based. So I will write here one and click OK. Now you can see our row is removed where region west was there. OK, here in the applied steps, you can see our step remove top rows. Right now, next step is we have to remove this ABC company, which is header. So for removing that, what you have to do, you have to select this. Then you have to go home here. And here you will get this option use first row as a header. If you click this what it will uh, what will happen this ABC company header will get removed and the first row will become the header for all the columns. So let's see how we can do that. So this is already selected. I will click this drop down here you get these two options use first row as headers and use headers as the first row. So we are going to choose this first row as a header. So I will click this. And now you can see our first row has become the header and that header ABC company has gone. And here you can see here two, two steps promoted header one and change type. So we applied the three steps. First is to remove row then we promoted the header. So this is how we have to remove the top rows in Power BI. Okay now next step is you have to go here in the file and close and apply. So I will choose this. 
now changes is been applied to the power bi desktop now here in the data set you can see all the headers with the names so earlier if you notice that earlier it was uh, like column one column two like that now you can see all the name for the all the columns right so this is how you have to remove the rows in power bi hope you understood how to do that see you in the next video Thank you for watching.